Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the SPPSVC service is experiencing high disk usage on your computer. So basically, this is the software protection platform service, which is generally responsible for the download, installation, and enforcement of digital licenses for Windows as well as Windows applications. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial guys and without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I would suggest would be to open up the start menu, type in control panel. Best match should go back with control panel listed right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. Set your view by to category view and then select system and security. Underneath security and maintenance, just go ahead and just select that, honestly. So just go select that title and then click the drop down next to maintenance and then select where it says start maintenance. Give it a moment here, it will say maintenance is in progress. So we're just going to give it a couple minutes to run here.
Okay, so it should say no action needed, hopefully. If there is any action needed, it should become listed there. So another thing you can go ahead and try when you're done with that is closing out of here. Open up the star menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Press match to go back to registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now before you proceed to registry, I would suggest that you create a backup of it so anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date that you're making the backup. Save it to a convenient location on your computer and export range should be selected at all. And then you just go ahead and save it. And if you ever need to import it back in, you just would select file and then import. And navigate to the file location, so again, pretty straightforward. So now we're ready to begin. So go ahead and double click on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Same thing for current control set. Same thing for services. And then there should be an SPPS to VC service, lowercase. So we're just going to scroll down here. Right here. So again, SPPSVC. And if you need to pause the video and take note of our file path up to this point, you can check it up at the top of our screen here. Each backslash is a different folder we've gone under up to this point. So now on the right side, you want to locate something that says start. It should be a D word value. Go ahead and double click on that. For value data, you want to delete whatever number is in here. So delete the two, which is in my case, I'm going to type in number four, and then I'm going to select OK. Once that is done, you want to go ahead and close out of the registry, restart your computer, and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.